Construction of a new high rise just south of downtown Austin is going to have a major impact on how long it takes to get home. Yeah, you can see it here. We're talking about the intersection of South First Street and Barton Springs Road. And that's where our KXAN Eugen Cho, she is standing by for us. Eugen, explain what's going to happen starting this Saturday. Yes, Sydney, that's right. The closure is starting to happen this Saturday, and it's going to start with Barton Springs Road. So that's the road that's right in front of me. You see these cars turning right onto Barton Springs right now, and the closure is going to impact that side of the road. So if you look over there, the lane that's on the right, that lane is going to close. So if you're driving down Barton Springs going towards 35, you're going to notice that e the eastbound lanes are going from two lanes down to one. So of course, that's going to affect those who are turning left onto Barton Springs Road from South First Street as well. So that's this Saturday. Next Saturday, May 25th, there's another set of lane closures and that's happening right near South First Street. So this is a road here and South First, this is going to go from four lanes down to two. So the two lanes that are closer to me right now, those are the lanes that are going to close. Eugene, did you find out why the developer uh, needs those lanes to be shut down? Yeah, Robert, I did. So the construction is happening right there in that triangle area. That's the old Hooter site, and that's to build a 15-story building. And right now, what they're trying to do is they have to minimize um, impact on traffic as they, as they try to bury their utility lines underground. So the city told us it's actually a required thing that they should be doing, and they decided that the lane closures are very necessary and this very busy intersection. So you see all these people walking across the street just in the last 10 minutes or so waiting for this live shot. I saw so many people riding the scooters, bicycles, and of course people walking and of co course all this rush hour traffic. So I'm speaking with people who do come to this intersection every day as well. They work here, they come here to use the hike and bike trail. So you're going to hear from them coming up on KXAN News at five about how they are are getting ready for these road closures. All right, back to you.